times. Surrender to the Covenant. Cortana, I'm gonna need you now. Find the Halo. Win the war. Natasha Olive, good morning. Hi, good morning. Jeff. Uh, I wish I could be there with you at the South by Southwest Film Festival, but uh, this is the next best thing. So thanks for joining me today. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, Halo, what an impressive series. I've watched the first two episodes. I mean, talk about epic. So congratulations on that. And Natasha, your character, Dr. Hos- Hosley, uh, is advancing mankind with her research, but she plays by her own rules, doesn't she? Very much so, yes. She's uh, outside, out of step with everyone else's version of what is good and what is evil. Um, But if you, I guess, take her own construct, it makes sense and there's a a logic to all of it. Uh, She's looking to a future without human beings if she doesn't step in and create Spartans and enhance humans to be able to defend themselves and create AIs that can then have a predictive um, capacity that humans just don't have. Um, I I think if you're inside her head, it makes perfect sense. Mm -hmm. But if you're watching her behavior, it makes less sense. And Olive, what is Dr. Keyes' role in the war against the Covenant? So Miranda actually uh, is the head of xenological research and development. So she basically researches and tries to understand the aliens that we're fighting. And so uh, her discoveries hopefully are, you know, each discovery she makes hopefully helps uh, win the war. So I think she's, I think she's pretty important to it. (laughs) (laughs) Absolutely. And uh, Natasha, Dr. Halsley is always butting heads with Admiral Paragoski. It's the classic science versus military, isn't it? Yes, and, and a, a clearly Halsey's been manipulative in uh, the privileged role she's been given at the UNSC, and she's using it for her own sort of scientific research and study and um, the, the birth of Cortana uh, uh, and something else that gets revealed later on in the series that I'm not allowed to talk about. Um, at the well, moment. just two episodes in, you can see how Halsey is not making friends with the Admiral. I mean, she's undercutting her in public and in meetings right in front of her. You could just see mm. the slow burn. Yes. Yeah. But she gets her way for a while. Um, <laughs> it works. Uh, yeah. And Olive, were you impressed by the scale of this production? I mean, the sets and the costumes. I mean, it comes across on screen, but I can't imagine being there in person. I was absolutely uh, mind blown. I felt like uh, what I imagine like ants feel like going outside. <laughs> do, you know, do you know what I mean? Like imagine an ant in this room. They'd be like, that light is just the biggest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. That's, that's how I felt on set every day. Like a tiny little ant in a costume. <laughs> it was wonderful. <laughs> and we know that Steven Spielberg is the executive producer of the series. Did he ever visit the set? Did you have a chance to meet him? Um, not while I was there. Um, no, no, I don't think I so. There. I mean, also a lot of our shoot was during COVID, and there were very strict protocols anyway about mm. people coming on set. So it was a very, it was a very private set. Mm. Well, congratulations on Halo streaming on Paramount Plus. Thank you both for joining me, and also Natasha Ronan is like one of my favorite films of all time. So it's such a thrill to talk to you today. Oh, well, thank you. Thanks a lot. <laughs>